Great! I think I'm on the right track. Pretty soon the diamond's gonna be in my hand. I can't stand it in this mask anymore. It's so itchy. Uh, 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 Bulk? What? Uh, I think the flashlight stopped working. Yes, Marshmallow, you're a genius. Tell me, Marshmallow, did you change the batteries like I told you to? Uh, I forgot, Boxy. Oh, I can't believe it. Listen to me. Yes? Feel along the wall, and just find the light switch and turn it on for a second. Another ten seconds, we have the diamond in our hand. Okay, fine. <coughs> Marshmallow, careful. Boxy! Yes? I think I found something. I think this is it. Good. Now turn it on. Oh my gosh! He turned on the alarm! to run from the police, huh, Box? I'm not so sure, Marshmallow. I think I'd rather be in jail right now, rather than meet the boss now that we've failed him. We could just tell him it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> yeah, genius. That's just what Sick and Rick told him just last year, after the suitcase fell to the bottom of the river. And what did Boss do to them? <laughs> it's better if you don't know. <laughs> You guys are double trouble. Yeah, that's us. And no muffin. And no fussin. Double, double trouble, trouble is, is ready, ready for, for pouncing. pouncing. All right, all right, all right. I don't have time for your rhymes. The boss is waiting for you. And if you ask me, he's not happy. Really not happy. Hello, boss. Uh, how are you, boss? We heard you called us. Yeah, we came right away. We said if the boss called, we must come. Hey, no fussin'? Hey, no muffin! Double trouble is, is ready, ready for bouncing! Hey, no fussin'? Hey, no muffin! Quiet. Ready for pouncing, huh? And what happened in England? Were you able to steal the Queen's diamond, huh? Oh, eh? It wasn't our fault, boss. Yeah, boss. The flashlight went out on us. Quiet, good for nothings. Unsuccessful cheaters, swindlers, old shoes, green frogs. I pay you, don't I? I pay you a fortune, and you guys can't handle it. I think the time has come to get rid of you. Freddy, my friend, will be happy for a nice meal. Is that right, Freddy? Should I go buy him some salami, boss? Uh, boss, uh, forgive us. Uh, give us another chance, boss. Uh, we won't disappoint you this time. Please, boss. Okay. Okay. I'm willing to give you a chance. But the last chance, you hear me? Huh? Oh? Eh? Uh, of course, boss. Uh, we'll do everything, boss. Uh, uh, no fussing. Hey, no muffin. Double trouble it's is ready, ready for, for bouncing. All right, all right. I heard you. I heard you. Listen up. Your next mission is in Israel. Israel? How great! Water, popsicles, beaches, and some land. Land, boss. Hmm. There's some land that I'm interested in. We can build five-star hotels on the property there. Fancy restaurants. <laughs> we can turn this land into a birthday cake. Mmm, I love birthday cakes! But, there's only one problem. The owner of the land. 
a stubborn farmer. Not willing to sell the land at any price. What didn't I do? I sent messengers, I begged, I threatened. But he's not willing to listen. He won't listen. And every time, he has the same excuse. I love the land of Eretz Yisroel. Hmm. The agriculture is a present from Hashem. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because of agriculture, I can do lots and lots of mitzvos. Hmm. Truthfully, I was approached about the field. I was asked to sell it in order to build hotel complexes and restaurants. Here, if you look there, you could see uh, the. Uh, I guess they really like this view of the hills and whatever. But, uh, I rejected the offer because uh, agriculture gives me the opportunity to uh, do a lot of mitzvahs. And besides, agriculture is a gift from Hashem. And besides, I love the land of Israel. <laughs> Even my son wrote a song about it. Here we go. Tovli lavod badama, tovli lehafri achtash mama, le sofet aperotu le kayemet ha mitzvot beemuna badama. That's the song. Be as it may, we must steal this land. Steal this land, boss? But it's very hard. We need a lot of bags. We need a tractor. We're gonna need Quiet, a lot. frog. We have to kick him off his land. That's right. It's not easy. But lucky for you, I'm a genius and I have a plan. A secret plan. Listen to me. I found out. The next year by the Jews, it's Shnat Hashmita. Shnat Hashmita? Shnat Hashmita? Shmita, Shmita, Shmita. It's very simple. It means that the Jews are not allowed to do any work on their field during that year. They can't plow, they can't plant, they can't harvest, they can't prune. And if they do these things, then they get a punishment from the heavens. What's the punishment, boss? Like it says in the book. Here. Read Marshmallow, whatever it says there. It, boss... Uh, sorry, boss. I don't know how to read. Let me try. Vehaaretz ta'azev mehem, v'tiretz eshaptoteha, bohashama mehem, v'emirtzu es davonam, yan biyan b'mishpatayim ha'asu, v'et chukotay ga'ala nafsham. Very good, books. Now explain what you just read. Uh, uh, it's very simple. Just as I read before, um, boss, I didn't understand a thing. Boxy, it's very simple. If the Jews work their land during the seventh year, then their God kicks them right out of there. Oh, yeah, it's also, it's also a rhyme. If they don't keep the seventh year, then their God sends them out of here. I also have a rhyme. If they don't keep the seventh year, then uh, their God will send them on an airplane. Quiet, pickle jar. The mission I'm giving you is very, very simple. You must get Gedalia the farmer to work on his land, and then, according to the book, he'll get kicked off his land, and then, <laughs> that's right, <laughs> the land will be mine, huh? Oh, eh? You're a genius, boss. You're a genius, Boxy! Uh, I mean, boss! A great plan, boss! <laughs> but I don't think I understood the plan. It's very simple. We just... Convince Gedalia to work on his Shemitah, and then the, the God of the Jews gets in there, and then the land goes to the boss. <laughs> Piece of cake, boss! We won't disappoint you, boss. Well, I really hope I won't be disappointed, because if I am, my Freddy will be very, very satisfied. It'll be okay, I promise. And we won't disappoint you. Uh, no mustn't! And no fussing! Double trouble is, is ready, ready for pouncing!
<laughs> what, what are you doing? Get, give it to me. Hello? Hello there. Uh, you're Gedalia? Yeah. Oh, Gedalia, I'm so happy I found you. Uh, we're two very important businessmen in town, and uh, we wanted to uh, get together with you. Uh, we can't really talk about it on the telephone. Uh, we have an offer for you that you won't be able to refuse, really. Why don't we meet at the restaurant Kurosin in the mall? Is that okay? Okay, so we'll see you, Gedalia. See you soon. So fancy here, books. Come look. It's really nice here. The lighting. Marshmallow. Up. I'm ready. <laughs> Kedalia. It's Kedalia, it must be Kedalia. Kedalia. Nice Shalom Aleichem, my dear friend Kedalia. <laughs> Allow me to introduce my partner, Marshmallow. And this is Box. I mean, Mr. Box. Ha! Huh. Oh, sorry. It's just working in the field makes my hands strong. I didn't notice. Well, pay attention! <laughs> Let's have a seat, why don't we? What happened to your eye? This? Ah, this is nothing. When we were by the old lady's house in the middle of the robbery, all of a sudden the police guy in came... In other words, when he was a cop and uh, he was helping some old lady cross the street, and uh, it happened. <laughs> Good for you. So, can we get on with our business? Well, of course. But if it's regarding selling the field, 
I'm letting you know I'm rejecting. The field gives me so many opportunities to do mitzvahs that I just can't imagine parting with it. But mitzvahs you only do in the synagogue, no? Not at all, Marshmallow. There are certain mitzvahs that you could only do on the lands of Eretz Yisrael. For example, Trumas, Maestris, Arla, Leket, Shikha, Peya, Maiserish, Shani, Netaravai, Shemita. Yes, yes, Gedalia. But listen to me, we're not interested in purchasing your field whatsoever. No? Not at all. We want you to keep on working in your field. On the contrary, we would like to purchase in advance all the fruits that are going to grow in your field this year. We'll pay you in cash and in advance. That's a generous offer. I've never been offered such a thing before. I'll do it. Great, so we can shake on it. One second. You're referring to next year? Well, of course. What'd you think? Of course. You just work in your field and we pay you $60,000. I'm afraid that's impossible. Next year is Shnata Shmita. <laughs> Shmita, Mita, Pita, you don't get it. We're talking about $60,000. That's a lot of money, right, mm -hmm. Buck? But my dear friends, I, I can't work on Shemitah. And I can't sell the fruits that grew by themselves. These fruits are Shviyas. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I see what you're doing here. Open it up. <laughs> A hundred thousand. Well, it would be better for you to agree. Right, Buck? Well, of course. You can buy yourself a new house. You can finally trade in that old tractor of yours. Listen, gentlemen. Shmita is a very important mitzvah. I've been waiting seven years for the mitzvah. How could I trade it in for money? But maybe you are allowed to. You know, for a lot of money, I'm sure you're allowed to smooth a little, to clip here and there, to trim. Where's your common sense, Gedalia? You can even give some of this money to Tzedakah. HaKadosh Baruch Hu will be very happy. Chas v'shalom. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wouldn't be happy if I worked on Shemitah. If HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants, he could send me a million dollars without doing an Avera. On Shemitah, we don't work. That's the simple halacha. There is no Rav who would allow me to work on Shemitah for money. I'm very sorry for you, gentlemen, but you got my final answer. No and no. I'll be leaving. You messed it up. I wish we would get a hundred thousand dollars for a few fruits. Book, what are we gonna do, Book? How are we gonna convince Kadalia to work on Smita? Both won't be happy. The boss is gonna turn us into snacks for Freddy. You're lucky that I'm your partner. I have a solution. You have a solution, Book? We're lucky that you're even smarter than I am, Book. That's right. Do you remember what he said? No rabbi would allow me to work on Shemitah. And you have such a rabbi book? Not only one. <laughs> With the no mussin and no fussin! Double trouble is ready, ready for, for bouncin! Boxy! What's the matter? Boxy, my beard is itching me. Maybe we can be rabbis without a beard. I heard that Freddy really likes rabbis with no beards. Oh, really? But Boxy, I have no idea how rabbis with beards act. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna go to a place with lots of rabbis and we're gonna learn how to do all the hand motions. Let's go.
פירות ולקיים את המצוות באמונה באדמה בזמן שהמקדש היה קיים תוספת שהיא הייתה אז כאן רק עד פסח נטיות וזריעת שבועות לקראת שמיטה שלום עליכם, רב גדליה! הלו? אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
Well, it's a very big problem. Hashem doesn't want you to die of hunger. That's right. On the sixth year, I had a miracle. And my produce tripled. There! See my silos over there? They're packed with produce. Enough grew that there'll be enough for the sixth year, and for the seventh year, and even for the eighth year till I finish planting around here. I have no problems not working on Shemitah. Gedalia, that's enough! Hi! Harav Agoin! Harav Boksevitsky! And Harav! Harav Marshmilovitz! We're both greats in Torah! We smash mountains and shatter rocks! And Rob Bank! And we know very well what's allowed to do and what's not allowed to do. And we command you to start working on Shemitah! On Shemitah, but... It's strange, but... What but? What straight? We're rabbis and we know what's allowed to do and what's not allowed to do on Shemitah! Here, look! We have beards! And you don't! So it's the beard that's what matters, not what's you in your head! I'm sorry, Box. Uh, put it on. Wait. Uh, it's, uh, it's not what you're thinking. It's this. Uh, aren't you the Box? Let's get out of here. I'll show you. I'll show you. Box, wait for me, Box. Get back here. Rabbis, you guys are a bunch of liars! Ah, my hat! We're safe, Booksy! Tell me, what did you do? What'd you do that for? Could you tell me? I'm sorry, Booksy! I'm sorry! Hello. Hi. We want to get a roof. Here you go. Give it to me, give it to me. I'll take it. Let's go. Let's go, Boxy. Why did you come here, Boxy? I want to try to hide from the boss till we figure out what to do. Yeah, you're right. How great! We're sleeping in a hotel. What I love best about hotels is that we can jump on mattresses. Yeah, just wait till the boss figures out that we failed and we'll see what he does with us then. Uh, don't worry! He'll never find us here! Uh, tell me, you couldn't be careful with that beard? <sighs> Booksy, I told you already! I'm sorry, no! <laughs> I don't get these rabbis! How are they able to grow these beards without itching all the time? Good for them, right, Box? Yes, genius. And now be quiet and stop jumping. I'm trying to think. Ah, I've got to think of a good idea. I've got to think of a plan. Okay, now I'm tired. I'll think about it tomorrow morning. Ooh, I'm having so much fun! Oh, your springs are good too, Box! Marshmallow, do me a favor, stop it already! My favorite thing to do after dumping on beds is to watch... Whoops! <laughs> cartoons! But Well, Pickle Jar, good evening. Uh, uh, good evening, boss! 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 
boss? With no mussin? And no fussin! Double trouble? It's ready for bouncin! It seems more as if double trouble is ready for lounging. Huh? Oh? Eh? Are you trying to hide from me? Uh, not at all, boss. No way. So where are you now? Did you succeed? Is the land mine now? Huh? Oh, eh? Uh, uh, well, uh... Why are you not answering? Uh, the answer is complicated, boss. Uh, you understand. On the one hand, you can say that, uh, that we succeeded. And on the other hand, you can say that... Uh, Please don't turn us into snacks for Freddy, boss! You can say that we failed. And why? In the name of all good and evil, why did you fail? It's so simple what I asked you to do. Gedalia is why. His faith is very, very strong. And he's so stubborn. And he also pulled my beard off! <coughs> we tried everything. Then try some more. We were dressed up as businessmen. We were even rabbis with beards. Uh, we tried convincing him, but... Convincing? You tried convincing? Since when do we convince? <coughs> Thank you, Pickle Jar. We do not convince, we force him. Since when do we convince? Double trouble. The time has come to take off our gloves. Both. I don't have gloves. No, Green Frog. It means that until now we were too nice. And from now on, we start being violent. Yeah, violent! Hitting! Ripping off clothes! Pulling off his hair! Putting him in a headlock! No. Hmm, we need something better. Something a little smarter. Hmm. What is he eating the next year? Well, he had a miracle. He said his god gave him plenty. His storage is filled with wheat, boss. Bingo! I have an idea. Come closer, so nobody will hear us. What you need to do now is get to that man and to show him everything. And do it now! No! Oh, yes! Eh. You're a genius, boss! Yeah, we'll do it, boss! And for your sake, I hope it succeeds. Otherwise... <laughs> huh? Oh? Huh? Eh? Uh, uh, no mustn't! Uh, no fussin'! Double trouble! Is ready for pouncing! Uh. I think we have to go there, Boxy. The storage room is there, I'm telling you. You brought the fuel? Yes, of course! Wait. Ouch! Who's there? Who's there? Hey, thief! Thief, you don't have to steal this year! I was mapped near my fields! It's Shemitah! You can start taking whatever you want from the field. Hello? Who's there? Meow. Meow. Oh, it's just a cat. Oh. Who's there? I'm also a cat. I guess they're just cats. Yeah. It's all clear. Let's go. Come on! Call the fire trucks! 
There's a fire! <laughs> What's wrong? You don't like the song? It won first place among all fireman songs. Yes, yes, I know. The song is very, very nice. But it's just that my son. What's the matter? No buts. We're gonna sing and you're gonna answer. A fire? A plane? A fire? A burn? Who is burn? There's a fire! Where? Come look, my saddle's on fire! I don't see it! Fireman, come on, it's this way, let's go! Okay, there's a fire, box it! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Come on! Let's Come on, book! Are you ready? <laughs> I'm good to go! <laughs> Alright, what's going on? Not on me! Not on me! Over there! Over there! Do it there! Where? Not over on there. me! Over there! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna move it over. Bugs. Not on me! Not here! Yes! He has to do it there! Over there! Look, look over there! Look! Over there, Bugs! I'm sorry! <laughs> we did it, huh? <laughs> we burned everything. He had nothing left, yeah. Bugsy. Now he's gonna have to work. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, here's coming. I appreciate what you did for me, but everything burned. I have nothing left. We're, we're extremely sorry to hear about this. Uh, we're very sorry for your loss. I don't have any fruits left. I have nothing to eat. Well, you have no choice. You have to start working in your field and start growing food. You should probably start right away. You still have some time. You should work your land. We'll give you a hand. You should plant some wheat. And work your feet. You should prune and you should pick. You should scatter and you should clip. You should work the field. And get excited. And then the we'll boss. be delighted. Tell him again. You should work your land. We'll give you a hand. You should plant some wheat. And work your feet. You should prune, you should pick. You should scatter, you should clip. You should work the field. And get excited. And then the we'll boss. We'll be delighted. You should work your land. We'll give you a hand. You should plant some wheat. And work your feet. You should prune, you should pick. scatter, you should clip. You should work the field. And get excited. And then the boss will, will be, be delighted. delighted. No! The boss won't be delighted. <laughs> you, you know him? <laughs> the boss? The boss. Rabono Shalolam. He won't be delighted. He wants me to keep Shemitah even when it's hard and even when my silos are empty. And he... The greatest of them all promised to take care of me. I won't give in, and I'm not going to stop keeping Shemitah. I won't plant, and I won't weed. I won't plow, and I won't seed. 
But everything burned. You don't have anything left. What are you gonna eat? I know. I'm gonna have to ask for help. From who? The boss of the world. From Akadosh Baruch Hu. Hashem Yisbarach, send me a solution. What are you looking for up there, Boxy? That's it. I have a solution. What? What? Here, come on. To the poor or just plain people and animals, I hereby am after my fields. They're mine no longer, and they go back to Hashem. And therefore, you can take anything you want to eat for yourselves. Please take care of the trees. Please make sure to keep Kedusha Shviz. Enjoy, Gedalia. That's me, the former owner of this field. <laughs> yeah, but you're not poor. And you're not an animal either. What are we going to do? That's true. But I'm considered a regular person. And just like any other person could eat from my fields, I too can also eat from my fields. So, that's how I'll manage on Shemitah. Enjoy! Oof! I'm telling you, we don't have a chance against him! His solutions come from the heavens! Wait a second! I also have a solution from the heavens! No! Here, take a look. Uh, Gedalia? Yes, fireman! Didn't you say that the fruits don't belong to you? That's right! The fruits now belong to Hashem! Whoever wants could just come and take as many grapes as he wants! You heard that? He said that the fruits are no longer his, and now we can just ruin his entire vineyard and he won't have anything left to eat. And then he's gonna have to work! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All of the fruits will ruin and will toss, and then the field will go to the boss. All of the fruits will ruin and will toss, and then the field will go to the boss. No fussing and no messing, double trouble is ready for pouncing. No messing! What are you doing? Stop right now! What do you care? You said the fruits don't belong to you. They belong to Hashem. Yeah, we asked him! And he lets us! Hashem doesn't let you ruin the fruits in any way. How do you know? Didn't you read the sign? You must keep Kedush HaShviyas. Kedush HaShviyas? Fruits that grew during Shemitah are holy. You cannot show any disrespect. Even the leftovers on your plate, you cannot throw out. These are fruits of Shviyas. Did you make this up? It says in the Torah, Only eating the fruit, but you cannot cause them damage or destruction. Take a fruit that's meant for humans. You can't feed it to animals. These are fruits of Shviz. You are only permitted to eat. And that's all? And that's all. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Boxy? Get started! We have no choice. We both have to start eating all the grapes in the vineyard here. So you won't have anything left. All oh, the grapes? Unless you yourself want to be food for the raven. Hey, but Box, I don't like grapes! Come on, let's go! Stuff your mouth, Boxy! Yeah. Boxy! I can't eat anymore! You must, you have to eat! Oh. I can't do it anymore! My stomach is bursting! Oh no! Did I call a doctor or an ambulance? No. Uh, no we don't need an ambulance. Yeah! We'll call an ambulance! Yeah! Yeah! You're a genius! You're a genius, Marshmallow! We'll call an ambulance! Yeah! Come! Let's go, come after me!
Take the red bag. Take the red bag. What happened? Uh, you have a very big problem, sir. Uh, Are you Mr. Gadalia? Yeah. So you have a very big problem. Problems? Yes, a very, very big problem. <laughs> Open wide. <laughs> I think you're getting I'm gonna have to ask you to be quiet. Please don't disturb us in the middle of our medical attention. The situation's not good, Dr. Marshmallowo. One second. Doctors, please. I think you're making a mistake. You're getting mixed up. I'm not sick. I'm healthy. You're not sick. You better believe it, you're sick. Yeah, believe it! What, what, what's the problem? Sir, you're suffering from a great disease. Your disease is called Believinus and Schmittasis. Believinus and Schmittasis? Exactly! Believinus and Huh? Uh, uh, I always can get confused with It's a matter of life and death. There is only one way to cure you from this horrible disease. Dr. Marshmallowo, the syringe, please. We'll give you this shot, and then you must start working your field. Three times a day. Before your meal, after your meal, and during your meal. And the main thing is to work, and to work, and to work. It's a matter of life and death. No, you can't make me do that. I'm not sick with any sickness, I don't want any shots, and there's no way that I'm gonna work on Shemitah. We're professionals here, sir. Dr. Marshmallowo, give it to him. What happened? What happened? What happened? Come, 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 come. Let's go, let's go. Get the ambulance. Hey, come, 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 come. Okay, Marshmallow. We tried everything. There is no other choice. The time has now come for persuasion. Marshmallow, in the name of boss, I now give this to you for persuasion. Ah, you scared me. Let me practice. Put your hands up, don't move. Hey, how was that, was that good? Yeah, genius, but you're pointing the gun at yourself. <laughs> Why is the gun so heavy, tell me? <laughs> Let's go! He's getting close. Threaten him that he better start working. Flip it around. Don't worry! Quiet, he's coming. Put your hands up, Gedalia! Have I done something wrong? It's not what you have done, it's what you haven't done. What? We want you to work on Shemitah so your god can throw you out of the field. You don't want to, and we can't stand it anymore. Exactly! And now we're going to be persuasive, baby! Uh, 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 I need to say violent! Very violent. Better believe it. And now, Gedalia, start working. Let's go. Get to work. Get your hands up!
As I suspected, it's you. I let you eat off my good fields. And this is your way of repaying me? You should be ashamed. We're sorry. Forgive us! We didn't mean it. Yeah, we were kidding! You're right, Gedalia. We're embarrassed, Gedalia! And we're also concerned. Concerned? Of what? Of the boss! Uh, he's our employer. He's gonna turn us into food for the ravens! Whoever believes is not afraid. What? what? I believe in Hashem. So I keep Shemitah. And I don't worry about not having to eat. If you also believe in Hashem, you have no reason to fear the boss. I have an idea. Stay with me, here. What? what? Stay here, work for me, you'll get free food, and every seven years, vacation. You'll enjoy it. Here, come on. Here, take these. Help me. You ready? Oh, whoa, 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 one second. I'm all confused. So you are allowed to work on Shemitah? Of course. There are things you're allowed to do on Shemitah. Here, take that pruner and cut all these branches evenly. But you can't prune on Shemitah. That's right, but you're not pruning for it to grow better. You're only doing it so we could pass easily and the branches won't bother us. And you? Here, take and water this entire row. I thought you're not allowed to water on Smita. That's true, but only if you water so the tree can grow better. You're doing it so the tree won't die. And I'll do a little weeding on the side here so that they don't choke this tree. So what do you say? Are you gonna join me? Become farmers? We're supposed to be robbers! Well, you can always change. Hey, can we think about it? Sure, why not? To turn into farmers? We have no choice. We failed our mission. The boss is gonna have our head. Well, okay, if we have no choice. We decided we're willing! That's great. I'm happy. Wait here. Here, take these. Take this, Boxy! I actually think I like it! I really hope so. Marshmallow! I think I'm starting to like this farming job. <laughs> I told you, Boxy! Here, here, help me out here, Boxy! <laughs> No fouling and no growing. Double trouble has, has turned, turned to plowing. <laughs> come, Boxy, come. הגוף אז מתמלא כזאת עוצמם לחרוש לנטוע ולמצוא לזמור למסוק וגם למצוא והשמיטה כן השמיטה I like being a farmer, Boxy! Yeah, it's wonderful! can't recognize us. Hello, farmers. Have you seen two people here wandering? Uh, 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 which people are you looking for? They're called Boxy and Marshmallow. Uh, no. 
No, no. Uh, we haven't seen them. Uh, why are you asking? Because I'm looking for them. They used to work for me and all of a sudden they disappeared. They're not here! If you see them, you should tell them that I have a special mission for them. Special meeting for us, Bugsy! Marshmallow! You're right! From now on, we're farmers! Starting now and forever! <laughs> hey, Gedalia! Hey, Gedalia! Hey! Hey! בשמחה טוב כך לעבוד באדמה ובשמיטה לטוב פי כמה מי שרוצה מוזמן מאוד לאכול מה ועוד 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 בשנת שמיטה בשנת שמיטה כל מי שרוצה מוזמן מאוד לאכול מה ועוד 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 בשנת שמיטה בשנת שמיטה